Billionaire Wives, The Price of Luxury, Love, and Betrayal when you think of billionaire wives, images of opulent lifestyles, Chanel handbags, private yachts, and luxury estates spring to mind. However, behind the polished exteriors and flawless smiles, there often lies a darker reality. Stories of betrayal, power plays, and the mental and emotional scars left by high-profile divorces paint a far grimmer picture of life inside these gilded cages. These are the women who, at one point, stood as the pillar behind empires. But over time, some found themselves cast aside, their loyalty and sacrifice undervalued, and their personal narratives often twisted by scandal. One of the most infamous tales of this nature involves Anna Murdoch, whose story weaves together love, power, betrayal, and resilience. The media world would never be the same after the dissolution of her marriage to Rupert Murdoch, the media magnate who changed the face of journalism. But behind the scenes of tabloids, news stations, and political influence, there was another story, one of a woman whose strength and grace carried her through decades of supporting her husband's vast ambitions, only to face a heart-wrenching betrayal that would change her life forever. The story of Anna Murdoch, from humble beginnings to media royalty. Born Anna Torv in 1944, Anna hailed from a modest background in Glasgow, Scotland. Her father was a dry cleaner, and her mother, a merchant seaman, worked hard to ensure their family had enough. Little did Anna know that her humble beginnings would set the stage for a life spent rubbing shoulders with some of the most powerful figures in the world. At 18, Anna began working at the Sydney Daily Mirror, a bustling newsroom where the young woman found herself surrounded by the world of journalism. It was here that her path crossed with Rupert Murdoch, a man poised to inherit his father's burgeoning media business. In 1967, the two married, marking the beginning of a life-changing partnership. The Murdoch soon became a force to be reckoned with in global media. Rupert's aggressive ambition was matched by Anna's quiet strength. While Rupert took on the role of the public figure, expanding the Murdoch empire by acquiring newspapers, television stations, and tabloids, Anna provided emotional and intellectual support behind the scenes. Her presence may not have been loud, but it was integral. For over 30 years, Anna played the role of both wife and advisor. While the public saw her as the mother of Rupert's children, Lachlan, James, and Elizabeth, the truth was far more complex. She was deeply involved in shaping the direction of their family empire. The media network they built together became one of the most influential in the world. Rupert's rise to prominence was often credited to his strategic thinking and fierce pursuit of power, but Anna was no passive bystander. Her input and guidance were key to News Corp's success, though the spotlight rarely shone on her. A marriage under strain, the beginning of the end. As the 1990s rolled in, the cracks in Anna and Rupert's seemingly unbreakable partnership began to show. After decades of expanding the empire, weathering controversies, and raising their children, the strain became too much. Rupert's relentless ambition created an emotional distance between them. Anna, who had always been the supportive spouse, started questioning what she had sacrificed. In 1998, after 31 years of marriage, the couple's separation was announced. The public was shocked by the end of this high-profile relationship. Yet, for Anna, the dissolution of their marriage wasn't just a personal loss it was the end of an era. The weight of her husband's empire, the emotional investment she'd put into her family and her role within the company, left her grappling with profound sadness. In interviews after the divorce, Anna referred to the breakup as akin to emerging from a state of deep mental illness. The psychological toll of living in Rupert's shadow for so long, combined with his eventual betrayal, left her feeling emotionally drained. It was around this time that the revelation of Rupert's affair with Wendy Deng came to light, a final blow that shattered any remnants of trust Anna had in her former husband. The affair wasn't just an emotional betrayal, it was a public humiliation. Wendy Deng, who had been working within the company, quickly became a fixture in Rupert's new life. Anna, once a central figure in News Corp., was suddenly cast aside. Her unceremonious removal from the company's board was a stinging reminder of how easily she could be replaced. 
A New Beginning, Life After Rupert Following the divorce, Anna found herself at a crossroads. After three decades of marriage, she was faced with the daunting task of rebuilding her life. But despite the emotional turmoil, Anna's resilience shone through. She found love again with financier William Mann, a man whose gentle and spiritual nature stood in stark contrast to Rupert's aggressive ambition. Together, they built a life based on mutual respect and shared values. Away from the public eye, Anna embraced her newfound independence. Yet, even in her new life, she couldn't completely escape the shadow of the Murdoch Empire. Her children, Lachlan, James, and Elizabeth, were all deeply entrenched in the media business. Anna expressed concern over their futures, knowing that the weight of their father's legacy would always loom large. Ruth Madoff, the queen of a financial empire built on lies. While Anna Murdoch's story is one of betrayal and eventual triumph, Ruth Madoff's life took a far more tragic turn. Known for her marriage to Bernie Madoff, the mastermind behind one of the largest Ponzi schemes in history, Ruth's life of luxury and privilege came crashing down when the truth about her husband's crimes was revealed. Ruth's journey began far from the glitz and glamour she would later come to embody. Raised in a middle-class family in Queens, New York, Ruth had aspirations of a life far beyond her modest upbringing. In the late 1950s, she met Bernie Madoff, a charismatic and ambitious man who quickly swept her off her feet. They married in 1959, and Ruth found herself standing alongside Bernie as he built a financial empire. For decades, Ruth played the role of the supportive wife, managing their family's finances and helping Bernie grow his business. Their life was one of excess and privilege, from luxurious vacations to their sprawling estate in Palm Beach, the Madoffs enjoyed all the trappings of wealth. Yet, behind the scenes, Bernie's business was nothing more than a house of cards. In 2008, it all came crashing down. The revelation that Bernie had orchestrated a massive Ponzi scheme rocked the financial world. Overnight, Ruth's life of luxury evaporated. Their assets were seized, their homes were sold, and Ruth found herself relying on government assistance to pay her bills. The public's anger toward Bernie extended to Ruth. Many believed that she must have known about the scheme, given her proximity to her husband's business. Ruth, however, maintained that she was unaware of the true nature of Bernie's operations. Whether or not she knew remains a subject of debate, but one thing is certain, Ruth's life was irrevocably changed. In the aftermath of the scandal, Ruth became a pariah. The once respected socialite found herself ostracized, her reputation in tatters. Even her own sons distanced themselves from her, refusing to speak to their mother as they tried to rebuild their lives away from the shadow of their father's crimes. Ruth's story is one of downfall. Unlike Anna Murdoch, who found solace in a new chapter of her life, Ruth's world was forever tainted by her husband's betrayal. She remains a tragic figure, living in the aftermath of a life built on lies. Elaine Wynne, Queen of Las Vegas Unlike Anna Murdoch or Ruth Madoff, Elaine Wynne's story is one of reinvention and empowerment. Known as the Queen of Las Vegas, Elaine was married to casino mogul Steve Wynne, a partnership that helped transform Las Vegas into the entertainment capital of the world. Elaine's journey to the top of the casino industry began far from the flashing lights of the Vegas Strip. Born in New York City in 1942, Elaine had a modest upbringing but was determined to make something of herself. She attended George Washington University, where she met Steve Wynn. The two married in 1963 and quickly set their sights on building a casino empire. Together, they transformed the Golden Nugget, an old Vegas establishment, into a hotspot for high rollers and celebrities. But it was their next venture, the Mirage, that would truly cement their legacy. The Mirage